What is going on, Taurus? Welcome back to the Jewelry Box. It's your girl, Empress Gem, here to drop those jewels. You know why I'm here. Because Spirit said we got to talk about the next seven days. Yes, we do. So it's a general message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. If this don't fit, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. And if none of that work, guys, come back and holla at your girl in the next seven to ten days. Okay. All right. So, Taurus, I feel like we're definitely talking about your money. Okay. We are definitely talking about your money. You could be dealing with a Leo, and I saw a Scorpio energy as well but again scorpio's eighth house that's your finances your material world shit like that so definitely about your money okay um somebody is really like stuck on you somebody was like <sighs> i don't even want to call them an enigma because sometimes i look at that as like a really good thing and this, this person is is more like an annoyance. That that's thank you, spirit. That's more the word. This person is more of an annoyance. Okay, like I feel like this person could have like been trying to ride your coattail. They probably was trying to copy your scheme or your plans. For some of you guys, I also picked up this was a business part partner. Um, also. I was picking up somebody that you was working on a project with. So you might be in school and you have like a group project. And this could be somebody who ain't do like none of the work, but feel like they should get just as much credit as you do. Okay. But then even still, if that's in work, it's something that you were working on with this person and they feel like they should be getting just as much credit as you. Clout chaser. Anybody who do, somebody who do anything for clout. Okay. Um, and this person is sad as fuck. They're sad as fuck right now. What was at the top? Oh, yeah. What was at the top? Hmm. Shit about to hit the fan, for real. I feel like this person's about to lose their mind, okay? They out here crying a river, okay? I feel like everybody is finding out the truth about this person, that they not who they say they are. They don't have the skills that you do, Taurus, okay? They don't got the skills to pay the bills, all right? And I feel that, you know, you was willing to help this person, but I feel like after a while, you, you started to see that this person was just, like, not... They weren't trying. They weren't making a cut. Like, this is, a, this is an energy that just felt like they could just, like, copy your stilo and like get off like try to get the same recognition and reward and shit like that like you without putting in a working effort and i feel like you don't cut this person off or you don't like switched up the game or something or you got some credentials over this person and they can't touch you maybe that's why i'm also picking up school so some of you guys could have went and learned you know um got higher degrees higher knowledge even or just something that you study that you're good and you're better than this person and everybody is seeing that and now this person's sad because i feel like you stopped helping them or like they there's they don't have access to you anymore so now this person is stuck where they are because i feel like this probably whatever is going on with you and this energy even if it's not work but i feel like whatever is going on like this person is mad stuck like they can't um they can't progress no further because this was never their path somebody chose to follow your path instead of their own and now they're stuck because they don't know how you fucking went ahead and took those two lefts and bust that right and they've been just busting left turns like crazy like this person that went in a whole circle they didn't realize when you got to that third stop you fucking took a right and they fucked up so now they still stuck running in a circle while you going down your path feel me so this is literally stay in your lane type of energy somebody didn't stay in a lane okay i think i need to like pin that down so i could remember Okay, let's get it. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what we got here for Taurus for the next seven days? What do they need to know for their highest good Taurus energy here? Let's see. Oh, that went far. No, it didn't. I'm about to say, come on with it, Spirit. Oh, what I say? Something is definitely over. It's a wrap. It's a done data. I feel like I just really channeled the whole message for y'all. And that's why Spirit only gave me one card. You could be done with a Scorpio, like I said. But this is about your money. Like I said, you left somebody on the side. Get out. I don't pick up hitchhikers. Or get, get out. Bye. Freeloader. Goodbye. Like you let this. You just let them go. Okay, you ended it. You, they don't. They can't see you no more. You don't rose above them, and now, like I said, this person is stuck. Yeah, you don't cleanse your whole energy. You don't cleanse them out. Like you realize what was no longer serving you. You don't walk away from the situation. You don't walk away from this person. You don't block this person at everything. You block them out your energy. Like you're no longer holding their hand. So why we got Scorpio out here, Spirit? 
And like, this is definitely about your money. Like, you ain't playing. You're not playing about that no more. And somebody really thought that they was just going to come and, like, eat up off your plate. I'm seeing the red hen story. So, if you know the story about the little red hen, she wanted to make some bread, right? And she needed to do all this work. She needed to, like, grow the wheat, harvest the wheat, grind it up, turn it into flour. Like, the whole process. And these people, this person ain't want to help you. They just thought they was going to eat the bread when you were done. And you're like, hell no. Like, goodbye. Like, no, like, I would have fed you. Exactly. You cut this person straight off. Restraining order. Like, ain't nobody business. Like, I feel like this person is like, I'm, they're depressing as hell. Yeah, because, bitch, I'm famous. Google me, baby. Like, you, you got to get rid of this person. This person is stalking you. They're trying to look at everything that you got going on. All your social medias, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, your fucking LinkedIn. Okay, they going back and trying to find if you got a black planet, any, anything. Your fucking eHarmony, it don't matter. Like, this person is really, like, stalking you to get all your juice, to try to get your energy. But, baby, at the top of the deck, you're protected, blessed, and highly favored. They got to get that that through their head okay yes thank you spirit yeah just gonna kick off listen to music you could even be receiving messages and music hell this could be about music if you're in the music industry okay and somebody literally yeah because entertainment with that scorpio energy as well fame and shit like that so somebody definitely was trying to like steal all steal your shit steal your art steal your creations your creativity somebody was really trying to ride your wave yeah because bitch i'm a job like come on like I don't work jobs, bitch. I am a job. Ugh. Like, that's what you had to tell them. Like, come on. And sure enough, these people is working you and watching your ass, but they not getting paid. They still broke as fuck, okay? Yeah. You don't got nothing to prove to these people at all. And their initials could be A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, first, middle, last, okay? So, yes. That's what I, that's, that, that is it. What is that? Ooh, we got two. Ooh. The six man as an angel. And I've seen this with this person. This person could just also be, like, very sick. They may not have an STD, but they, well, shit, they could. Or well, they trying to permanently be stuck to you like a fucking, like a STD like that, like herpes or AIDS or whatever. They trying to just, like, always be around and attached to you, like, in you. This person wants to live in your skin, like, weird. Yeah, doubt that you'll be successful. All that pride and shit. They wanted to doubt that you'll be able to make it. Or mm, whatever, but you accept the things for what it is. I feel like this person probably had already stole some of your flavor, some of your juice, and people was drinking it and thinking it was theirs, that they made it or whatever. So they was trying to like put doubt in other people when it came to you or whatever. They let that too much pride, too much ego. They really thought they had that shit again until you took that right turn and they asked still went left and everybody's like, hold up. What are you doing here? Now this person's sad. They're crying. Yeah, they want to blame you. They want to blame you when they should be blaming themselves. You can't be out here copying somebody, being envious and shit, and trying to copy their juice and shit like that. They style, their creativity, trying to take their ideas and shit and pass them off on your own. And now that Taurus done switched it up on your ass, and now you sitting here looking goofy as fuck because you still stuck in fucking 2020 and fucking Taurus is on 2022 shit. Come on now. Spirit, what's the final message here? Purpose. what I say? You on your path, on your purpose. You're in your lane. And somebody hopped in the wrong fucking lane, bitch. This is where I take two tickets and you ain't got it. Okay? But I know what I'm here to do. Tell them, Taurus. Okay? Yeah, freedom. You done cut free from these people. Follow your intuition. You done spoke up. People see that you're the fucking truth. And this person is sad. Like I said, the same color. It's the same color on a cry me the river. Cry me a river. Everybody see this person for who they is. They see the truth. And now this person sad as fuck looking embarrassed as hell. Okay, but I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, and you did that, Taurus. Okay, 909, as I said that, okay, journeys of self. <laughs> This person needs to get a light, get an identity. But anyway, Taurus, that has been your message. I really hope that has helped. Shit, that was uplifting and inspiring even for me, bitch. But until the next time we speak, peace out.